quick intro for today because I have a lot to do because we're going to be covering steps 52 to 65 which will end the first part of the Eiffel Tower. So if you're new, like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that YouTube algorithm stuff. I am your host Lego fan I do friend Lego videos. I have about 10 steps a video. And I am just going to cut straight to the chase because I really don't want to get this over 30 minutes. So here we go. In the very first step, we are going to take six of these. They are two by three cliff pieces. And we are going to need two one by threes and two six one by twos. If I don't specify any color, it's dark gray. So let's start by attaching these. Where they are going to go, we got one that's going right here in this one spot. And then we got another one going right here in this spot. Just like that. And then we are going to go ahead and attach one right here. One right here. And then the last two will go on here. And here. So that's where all the placements of those should go. With the two one by threes, we are going to put them in the back part of this raised two by two. So one goes right here. One by three. So one. Knows where it's pointing, it's pointing to the right. And two, this one's pointing to the left. With the remaining pieces, your six one by twos, we are going to go ahead and put one on here. Let's hope I can do this. I'm gonna put one on here. And then one in the back part of the raised two by two. Repeat that on the other side. One. Two, ignore that. And three. Just like that. Alright, and that concludes the very first step for today, which is 52. On to 53, which requires two raised 2x2s. Two We're going to need three raised corner pieces, like this. Technically, they will be called like 1x some, something, like 1x2 corner pieces or something like that. And two 1x3s. I'm first going to go ahead and attach these pieces. With one going on right here. And the other one going on right here. Now everything is secured together. This is going to be fun. Now we're going to go ahead and attach this piece on right here and the other one goes out on the same exact spot on the other side so in, a, in the 1x2 hanging off spot of the 1x3s that we put down in the previous video. With your third corner piece we are going to go ahead and put that on here between these two pieces like that and then put on the one by threes here and here so it should look like that hopefully I can speed through some of the shorter steps so that way I I can spend more time focusing on some of the bigger steps that, that we're going to be covering. Like attaching all these pillars together. Now, let's take two more of the raised 2x2s. As well as six of the 2x3 cliff pieces. So we're going to finish up with 
what we're doing here so with the cliff pieces so one goes here and one goes here simple enough Oh, and I forgot to mention that I did make a change with these two 1x6s. You may have noticed it already. If you didn't, well, um, I put, I shifted them over one stud because I realized that I was taking over two studs on this one where it should only be one. And I did the same exact mistake on the other side. So I since changed that. Now, with the remaining ones, we are going... Um, well, what? One's going right here. With the other one going right next to it. Right next to it. You may have noticed that they're starting to, like, almost touch each other. So, like that. And then we are going to do the same exact thing over here. So, we got one here. And one here. I don't know why they decided to put it on the edge like that. It's so weird. So that's what it should look like. With the two raised two by twos, we are going to attach them in the same exact spot. We put them here. Okay, last time I attempted, I did that. I did this. You saw in the previous video that I pretty much collapsed in on itself. Looks like this time I decided to behave. So it should look like that. Holy cow, this is an eyesore. If ever there was one. Wow. Now we'll just take one of those raised corner pieces. And four of the one by threes and I'm just going to go ahead and attach the corner piece on now which goes right here just like that with the four one by threes we are going to go ahead and make every single one the same so one of the one by threes goes in the, goes right here Just like that. Do the same on this one. And the same in this area, only it's going to be in our, our front. Sorry about that. So one. And two. Just like that. I am sorry for anyone that is watching this because holy cow, it might be an eyesore for you guys. Anyways, we are going to take four more of these um, two by three cliff pieces and two of the corner pieces. I'm just going to go ahead and attach the corner pieces on now. Which go here. Sorry, I'm just making sure that it's secure on and it looks like it is. And then the other one goes on here. Alright, and then once you get those all secured, we're going to go ahead and finish up these areas with the 2x3 cliffs. So, we get one over here, one over here, so it should look like that, and then attach the other ones here. 
And here. So it should look like that. Yep, this is 100% eyesore. We're going to get into some bigger pieces now. Which is always awesome. We love bigger pieces. We're going to take four 2x3s. And two raised corner pieces. I'm going to go ahead and attach these on first. Which go in the front part of all of the our um, raised 2x2s. Two they should be in line with the 1x3s. So essentially you have a 3x3 three three on top of a 2x2. Two two. Wow, that sounds strange. And I think this means that uh, we are officially done with stacking. Hopefully. Because I really don't want to anymore. The more I stack this, the more precarious it becomes. I'm just laying the groundwork as to where the corner pieces are going. Because I am not going to be able to attach them one-handed. So they're going here and there. So it should look like that. Again, complete eyesore, like, holy cow, my eyes are burning. I'm doing extra steps today, that's why I'm rushing through it, so sorry about that, guys. We are now going to take eight raised 1x6s and four 2x2s. So you can assume where the 1x6s go, which is here. So one goes here, just like that, and we got another one here, so that's what the pillar should look like. I might pause this in the middle of it. So, oh, that way, um, it looks a little, so that way you guys aren't bored, and I can just finish this on my own, so I might need two hands anyways, or I might not, you never know, uh, I guess during this time I can explain what I'm going to be doing in the next video, which is Ben 10 stuff, it's going to be covering, um, Alien Swarm, which is a really good movie. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And it's also going to be covering... Technically, it's season one. I don't see how it is a season. But it's... um The first season covers... um The Andromeda 5 alien meeting the Andromeda 5. What? Meeting the Andromeda 5. So, for those of you who don't really care, or, um, but the Andromeda 5 aliens, so this arc that is in, um, covering in Alien Force is my all-time favorite arc of Ben 10, which is, oh my god, I did it again, um, the Ultimate Agrigore arc, but this is like pre Ultimate Agrigore, where they're ga where he's gathering the Andromeda Five. So I just put in the last few, so that's what it should look like at the end. And now we're just going to attach these, which will go in the corner spot of our little two by three part that we have here. Yeah, I'm gonna need two hands for this. So see when I'm done with it. So that way, it looks like that. I think it's high time we start connecting the four pillars. So, why not we do that? We're going to take a lot of different pieces now for this step. We're going to take four of the 2 by 6 pieces. We are going to take two 1 by 6 pieces. 
we are going to take four two by two by four pieces and two one by twos. How's about we decide to finally connect them? So first we're going to put our one by two in the middle of our one by sixes with both of them, so one and two. So it should look like that. And then in our on our two by sixes we're going to attach our two by fours in the center of it. So one two three and four. So that way it's like that. This is not going to be fun. We got one here. Our two by six, it goes here. Or at least one of them. Just like that. And then put one of them right next to it on the other side. So, like that. So that's what it should look like. I am just panic stricken right now. Yep, figured that was gonna happen. You gotta be very careful during this step because you are going to be stretching these pillars back and forth a little bit. So you gotta be careful that you don't break them. I'm just going to pause. So, I'll see you when I'm done with this part. So, it's like that. And now I'm going to do the same exact thing with this pillar. And then, last pillar. Oof. It's been a long journey, folks, but I think it's high time we finish. And then I mess it up. Sorry. So that way it looks like that. We've had a long journey, folks. Very long journey, but look at that. It's secured together. We got a few little steps to go before we can set put this bag to rest. So, let's do it. We are going to need four 2x6s and four 2x2s. These are going right in the center of our 2x6s. So, one, two, three, and four. Just like that. And these are going on the interior parts right here. So, one. Just like that. And this is true for every single one. So, two. Three. Now it should be easier because now they're stretched out to where they should be in terms of length. Three and four. Goes right up here. Just to make sure that they're secured down right on the way. So that way it looks like that. After the next step I would have stopped, but I am going to continue on. So, we are going to need two 1x6s, four 1x3s, and two 1x2s. And we are going to just kind of fill in the gaps almost, I guess you can say. So, really? 
We got one of the one by threes going on right here. And another one going right here. Just like that. And we are going to go ahead and do the same exact thing on this end. So we got one. And two. So it's like that. With your remaining pieces, we are going to once again build one of those one by six support bridges. So they look like this, remember? And they are going on here. And here. Now, if this were a traditional video of mine, this would have been where I stopped. Thing is, there's only five steps left, so I decided to, you know what? Let's just finish it off once and for all. So, we are going to need four two by, two by eights, and four one by threes. And what we are going to do, I'm first going to attach the one by threes. Same, same exact spot. One. Two. Three. There we go. Three. There's a fourth one. There we go. And four. So it should look like that. That's kind of like the secure now. They're now secure. But we are now going to attach these to the base with our two by sixes here. So we got one. One. Two. Three. Jesus is so creaky. Three and four. Right? Yeah. Just like that. Alright, now we're going to take the same exact pieces. We're going to need two, four of these once more, the two by eights, and four of the two by threes. So, same exact spot for these. So, I'm just going to attach them on real quick. One. Two, three, come on, three, and four. Okay, now that we have them all secured, sorry if I was zoomed in for so long, but you can see that now we got a base around it. We're going to attach these pieces on. So, where are they going? One goes here. The one. Two. Three. Three. And four. So that way it looks like that. Now let's move on to 64. Where we're going to finish up the securing part of it. And then we're going to attach the, the last few pieces. We're going to need four of the 2 by 3s once more. And four of the one by ones Going to attach these on real quick. Same exact spot as usual. So one... Two. 
to three and four. And now we are going to attach these in the corners. So one, two, three, and four. Now, time for the last step. Seems like it's a lot of pieces, it's really not. We're going to need eight out of the long flats, so they are one by ten flats, and we are going to need a one by eight flats. The one by eight flats go on the inside, and the one by six flats go on the outside. So, one by ten, I mean. So, one, two, three, four. See how they're going? They're going all along the, uh, the edges. Four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Now we are going to take these pieces and they are going on the inside. So one, two, three, and four. Then go back one Two rows and attach the last set. One, two, sorry, one, two, three, and four. So that's what it looks like. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be doing Ben 10 in the next in the next videos. So long. And I'll see you guys next time.